with the yo ho ho it's Taylor the Toaster and welcome back to the q and I can't believe the last one got like over 500 views in a day, that's insane for a Q&A, i.e. a video all about me. Of course it was still in a Zuma theme, but to see like an entire quarter of the 2000 subs roll out to watch just that, that's amazing. So I hope you enjoy the Q&A part 2, which is more specifically about questions to do with me. So the first one is from a guy called Thomas J. Ashwell. What are you doing in my house? Okay, the real answer to that is probably keeping your parents awake right now. Oops. Next one's from Challengers Approaching. Can you make a segment for dogs? No. Another one from Stelio7. When are we going to collab? No, <laughs> no, I'm just a just a very busy guy out here in America and then I have to go straight back to university. So trying to think of cha any channel other than Taylor the Toaster right now is a, a challenging prospect. You turn around and you see the upload schedule of a guy who just releases more than one video a day and I don't know how he keeps up with that. But yeah, at the moment I've got things to focus on. However, this is a collab request I can get behind. When are you spitting a verse on the Pasta Bake mixtape? Give me an instruction, link me to the mixtape, and you'll have your mixtape straight away. Hit me up, Muck Duck. So this one probably ought to have been in the last Q&A, but never mind, it's slipped through the cracks into this one. First of all, MD Kazir. MD Kair Ezra. Don't botch people's names, Tail. Wants to know how old I am. Uh, the answer to that being 21, I, so I am a legal adult even out here in America, but I was legal adult in UK for three years and then I come out here and I'm a minor again for one week and then I turn 21 this June. But um, he also wants to know why I find Inazuma 11 interesting and I guess the easiest way to answer to answer that would be to say why I bought it in the first place. I grew up playing Mario Tennis Power Tour, which was a sports RPG where you go around as generic anime characters playing tennis throughout a story and then Inazuma 11 was basically the same prospect but with football and I love both games and yeah Inazuma it's got characters it's got a story special moves are funny the locations are great I think you can see why I find it interesting just by watching the series because clearly it's a good game Bubbles EXE and ads want to know what part of England I'm from. And this is a question I've had to answer a lot in real life over the past two months and I never know quite what to say because I grew up in the county of the East Riding of Yorkshire but not really near anywhere in particular. I'm like less than an hour from York itself but probably the closest places to me uh, I would say the very closest notable town would be Doncaster, but you still haven't... That's still not that important unless you really follow the football. Not too far from Sheffield, that's about 40 minutes off if you've heard of that. But um, if you want the exact specifics, I'm in a town called Ghoul. It's, uh, it's not great. And then when I'm at uni, I'm in Middlesbrough. So that when I go there, I go to the northeast. That's why I'm on the northeast... Smash power rankings. From Ace Two Shoes, the guy who did my thumbnails and banner, he wants to know, on a scale of 1 to 52, how much better is Ace Two Shoes than Tail of the Toaster? And well, since you posted that comment, you've buggered off to a new channel. I don't even know what it's called, but you've opened up a new channel, so Ace Two Shoes is retired now. So I think you're looking at about minus 60, mate. From Paradox Alicious, you call this a meme question, but I'm more than willing to divulge why Rari Workout. So when I started uni in Middlesbrough, it was Freshers Week, and Freshers Week, you know, not really my thing, I'm not much of a drinker. But I looked at the the local acts that were going on and I saw that Mr. Lethal Bizzle himself was going to be performing just down the road for a budget price. So I thought, alright, let's see what he's got. First song I look up is the Rari Workout and I just hear it and it's too funny. I'm like, you know what? 
I am going to go see him. And I did that same day that I'd heard of Lethal Fizzle. I went to go see him live and he did the Rari workout there and then. And so I just kind of listened to it a few more times after that to, to call back to that. Eventually, I could kind of recall the lyrics. And then when Ryman, Rari... Both, like, both Ryman and Ferraris need to work out, I guess. So I spotted a connection, saw the reason to put it on the channel, and learned the lyrics full out to perform it. And I have since done it on karaoke in its entirety. And if I run out of content for this channel once I've done the Q&A before I get home, you guys will get to see that. The serious question is why Swadloon? And of course, that is my favourite Pokemon, but of course... But it's also something you can kind of relate to, you know, because if you were a cocoon, you wouldn't like it, would you? It's boring. You can't do anything. You're just waiting to turn into something else. And in the end, Swadloon doesn't even get to become a butterfly. He just becomes a big bug. So I'd be fed up too. And I think his, you know, his face suits my voice very well. So... He's not got much to do with a toaster, but he's good enough for a channel icon in my eyes. This comment looks really big from Pyro Wolf X, but then you actually read the question itself and it's just, do you remember me? Yes. <laughs> Similarly, not to be confused with Pyro Wolf X in Azuma and Pokemon. Pyro Wolf wants to know what my first Let's Play was, and I answered this in the previous Q&A, but it was Mario Tennis Power Tour, which was... It's still, like, one of the most viewed LPs on the channel. Like, part one of Power Tour is probably my third most viewed video on here. Really liked doing it. It was a great fun LP to do. Just not the most watchable one in the modern day, because it's five years old now. So we've got two of much the same question now. I'll cover the end of Rising Earthrings question first. Do I see me doing other games and vlogs? Other games, I would say it's fair to say I already have done in the past this with the whole Inazuma 11 niche is still quite a recent thing and yes I could still see myself doing other Inazuma now other games besides Inazuma in the future but right now I want to stick to at least one Inazuma 11 a year and that takes priority over everything else can I see myself doing vlogs <laughs> kind of am doing but no that is a convenient reminder to say Subscribe once again to Thomas J Vlogs. I got the link in the description wrong last time. But yes, if you watch that, you will get like over a week's worth of daily vlogs featuring me, including my day out to Chicago. So have a look for that. That is actual content featuring me that's going to be coming out during my hiatus. So yes, I am vlogging right now. But both he and Lux King mostly want to know what inspired me to make YouTube videos. And the answer is probably the same that most LPers would say, but it was definitely Chugga Conroy. Of course it was. It's Chugga Conroy for everybody. He inspires all LPers, but that's just because he's so good. I still watch him now even. It's just continually a really enjoyable channel and it makes you feel like you can actually make some headway into YouTube just doing Let's Plays. So I watched him growing up, thought Hmm, I might like to be a Let's Player as well, but it just seemed like a distant dream. I didn't have any money at the time because I was a child, so I couldn't buy equipment. But then I just did practice LPs without recording them, just playing games like Mario Galaxy 2. And eventually just bought the equipment and started, and it's gone from here. So these two want to know what football team I support in real life, and... I am living in Middlesbrough for most part of the year, so that would be the fairly obvious answer. Middlesbrough FC. And also, my granddad was born in Chesterfield, and he supported them all his life. So I'm the same. I don't really watch the Premier League. I think it kind of defeats their purpose when barely half the players are even British. I love watching the World Cup and the Euros, but in terms of locals, I don't watch it, but I guess I support Middlesbrough and Chesterfield. On a global stage, I love watching Costa Rica. They are a fantastic and inspiring team to watch. But ultimately, just what I do when watching soccer, football in any variety is just cheer for the underdog. I don't want to see Arsenal, Manchester United win again and again, especially not you, Chelsea. 
Likewise, in the in the world stage, I wouldn't want to cheer for just Spain, Germany. I want to see upsets, no matter who it is from. There's also the question of who's my favourite Pokemon, which, as you know, is Swadloon, but I guess I can give some honourable mentions. I like a lot of obscure fish Pokemon. For example, Relicanth, Gorobis, Basculin. I like all three of those, and uh, Finneon is... Um, Obviously a terrible Pokemon, but I still love it. Love Gliscor, love Mamoswine, love Yan Mega. And I guess you could say Sowaddle. That's nice too. Your friendly horse 33 from Father Ted wants to know, will my question be answered? Yes, Ted. Apican0075 wants to know, am I really a toaster? I certainly don't smell a metal or burning. <laughs> No, the what you see is what you get. The abbreviation for that is WYSIWYG. And now you know something. Similarly, I've also been asked if I'm dead inside. And, uh, hmm, well, I am on a marketing degree, so maybe. And also, he wants to know my least favourite game. It, it would be too difficult to pick a general least favourite game out of everything. But my least favourite game that I took the time to complete would be Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. That was a waste of time and I don't know why I bothered. Kaneki Ken wants to know what game best describes your childhood and uh, Robot Wars Extreme Destruction would be an easy answer to that because I watched Robot Wars growing up and then played the video games repeatedly. There's also the many times I've mentioned Mario Tennis Power Tour. I grew up on that and loved it. And you could also say Lion King 2 Simba's Pride Game Break. That was my very early childhood game. Tail in post. Don't forget Learning Land. I think it's also worth mentioning that I probably completed Pokemon Emerald about seven times. Plus a full playthrough of Ruby. And then later in life a, a playthrough of Omega Ruby as well. So that definitely spanned a lot of the childhood even though I actually played Pearl first. What TV shows do you watch? If you're American, tune into the Science Channel Thursdays at 9 o'clock for BattleBots. It's the second best show ever made behind Robot Wars. The obvious answer to that question. But if you want some non-robotic ones, then my favourite would be Sherlock. I also have... I would call it a guilty pleasure, but it, I have no reason to be guilty. You know what? Britain's Got Talent is absolutely fine. That's just a genuinely good show to watch. And, uh... Definitely a guilty pleasure would be Coronation Street, but I didn't say that. Galaxy King wants to know, what's my favourite game's console? And that would be 3DS, because my... It's easy to tell if you just saw my gaming collection, my 3DS pile, which I can't show on screen because I'm not at home to take a picture, but my 3DS pile has just expanded out of the wardrobe that I'm supposed to be keeping it in completely. I own a lot of 3DS games, and I just love the console. In terms of the number of 3DS's I've owned, I've gone through 3DS 1, 3DS XL, 3DS n new Nintendo 3DS XL, an American 2DS and a 2DS capture board. So yeah, that would probably be it. Then my favourite game is on the Wii U, but I don't really play the Wii U for anything other than Smash, so I don't think that can quite manage it and everything that predates the Wii U doesn't hold up as well. Like, I loved a lot of Wii games and DS games, but you can't really go back to those consoles as easily. So, 3DS. And if you didn't catch it before, my favourite in a Zuma 11 game is the third one. H Maz wants to know, do I see myself doing Tale of the Toaster in five years' time? And that's a very interesting question, because I would love making videos for the channel. If I were to stop, it wouldn't be because I'd fallen out of love with it or anything, but you just never know what life's going to be like in five years' time. I didn't expect to be in America right now, and evidently that has hit the channel and stopped me from making content, so I can't guarantee that I'll still be doing it then, but just out of interest, yeah, sure, I'd like to still be doing it, but I will also have run out of Inazuma 11 games, so there's another question of will people still be watching Tale of the Toes during five years? And, uh, when will I gain true happiness and evolve into Lee Vanny? <laughs> Find me a wife. Just Nova wants to know, what's my Discord server? I don't have one, because that would create 
a lot of overlap because, you know, there's already an Inazuma 11 Discord. I wouldn't really suggest you guys join it unless you already know every plot detail about Inazuma, which, if you're just watching and experiencing Inazuma for the first time with me, you're definitely not ready for a place like that. Then I'm also, like, in another Inazuma server owned by an actual YouTuber, Dragon Blaze. And then there's, like, my communal ones. There's Thomas Ashwell's Discord server. A couple of Smash Brothers themed ones. There's just no point to me having my own. Now, a bunch of questions from Turnabout Random. And first of all, he wants to know what I think of the United States. It's so hot! It's great, though! I love it out here in the US! I've, uh, I've just had a ball. There's a real question of whether or not I'll be able to come back, but we will see about that. For now, I'm just enjoying every day out here. Even on a day like today, I'm just sat in Thomas's house on my own, but a chilling day is still a great day because you need him. I went to Chicago yesterday. I need a rest. And I've just been to so many states. I've done, obviously lived and worked in Maryland. I'm in Illinois right now. I've done Pennsylvania, I've done Delaware, I've been to New York a few years ago, I'm going to Massachusetts in a few days' time. When I was doing my 32-hour Greyhound, I guess you could say I got to go through Ohio and... Um, another one that I didn't even get to exit the bus in, so it hardly even counts anyway, but it's a good country. Yes, the president sucks, but it's it's a good chance to do impressions in front of the kids. They ate it up, you know? They just wanted to hear my Donald Trump. Have you ever had a five-year-old child ask you to do a Donald Trump impression? Because that's happened to me now. Why is Master Jake Studios the best person on the planet? Now, I know he's not really uploaded much this year, but last year, he was just blitzing his channel. Videos all the time, they were all such a high-quality standard. And, the, and they managed to be regular as well. You could tell how much work went into everything. And the man himself is a legend. The memeiest man in New Zealand. You should all be subscribed to Master Jake Studios. The man is top tier. How many memes a day do I snort? I'm somewhat out of my meme phase now. Because how this channel started was just turning 2009-ish memes into Smash Brothers character movesets. So uh, that was a, a big meme focus on my own channel. So now memes are very different. But I did absolutely get behind We Are Number One. I followed that for as long as it was active. So I have a top 117 plus games list on my Smash Wiki page. Use a Toast Ultimatum. I'll leave a link in the description where... I've ranked every game that I've ever wanted to put in my top 100 plus, which obviously includes three Paper Marios, but it's missing Super Paper Mario and Sticker Star, which uncannily Callus wants to know about. First of all, Sticker Star, it's crap, obviously. Why would I ever put Sticker Star on my favorite games list? It's awful. I, I've watched a full Let's Play from Lucky70X, and I do own the game, but it's a miserable affair. No way would that ever get on. And Super Paper Mario, I plan to play very soon. It, I owned it years ago as a child, and I got up to, like, Chapter 3, but then just got stuck and quit, and then eventually hacked the game with my action replay, because I was a kid, you did that stuff. And that ended up deleting my save file, so in the end I just gave up and watched Sugar Conroy's LP in full, so I never had a real reason to play it for myself until now. I've beaten Thousand Year Door, so I do want to revisit that, and I've no doubt it will get on the list. Now, who is the best Ace Attorney character, and why is it Emma Sky? I haven't played Apollo Justice yet, because I'm waiting for the 3DS eShop re-release, so I've only seen her in the bonus chapter in the first game, but I do like her, obviously. But my actual favourite character would be Ben, the ventriloquist. I know a lot of people don't really like his trial, but I completely got behind Ben and I really, really wanted more of him and I hope one day they just bring him back out of nowhere because that guy made the trial. I want more Ben. But of course, huge props to Godo if you want an actual recurring character and not just a one-off. 
And have I ever heard of or played Ghost Trick Phantom Detective? Have I played it? No, but have I heard of it? Absolutely, because my buddy the weirdo Maxim, he, I and something fourful were three buds and we all started Let's Playing at roughly the same time. We were all inspired by Lucky7DX. We'd just gotten to know each other on his IRC server. Maxim came the first by a couple of days and his first LP was Ghost Trick and he completed it and I was you know, one of his only viewers, but I watched it all the way through, and seems like a good game. More importantly, it just holds a special place in all three of our hearts, from it being the place we started while I picked Mario Tennis Power Tour and something awful picked Yoshi's Island for the SNES. And so to close it off, I guess you could say, what is the tale of the toaster? And I always try to give a contextual answer for that, and so there, there's never been any specific tale of the toaster, but I guess following up on what I just said... Camera? <laughs> you're, you're right there, mate. I'm, I'm gonna assume it, it can still catch me. I'll just lean back a bit. But, um... So, following on from that, yes, I guess there once was a young toaster, and he was friends with a weirdo named Maxim, and actual Fawful from the Mario and Luigi games. And we all watched a YouTuber called Lucky70X, who I've mentioned a few times in this channel now. I liked him because he did loads of handheld games and he also... Uh, 7DX was the end of my postcode at the time, so that was part of why I wanted to watch him. But um, we, were all, we all wanted to be Let's Players, but we'd never done it. And suddenly we decided, let's all go at once, let's just do it. And we all got started. And... They're all, we're all still going today, actually. Maximum and Fawful don't upload as regularly as we all did back then, and certainly out of the three of us, I was the luckiest when it came to subs. Uh, those two are still sitting in the in the lower 100 figures, but you know, Maxim, he's also doing some piano videos now, and Fawful is just trying new games and presumably getting a career in real life as well. But um, I'm going to have to check on my camera. I'm sorry, Thomas Ashwell. I couldn't figure out your tripod. It's too complicated for me. Uh, but um, so we all got started. And then I just played game after game. And ended up finding Inazuma 11. Ended up finding you all. Found my way into America. Into the state of Illinois to record in this nice studio. And... Tale of the Toaster sits where it does today. The username itself, I just came up with it in a geography class, offering it to somebody else and he never took it, so I was like, hang on, that were a good username actually, I'm going to keep it for myself. Why would I give it to this guy? He's not even going to make content. Oh god, imagine if Tom Brook actually took Tale of the Toaster and I was still whatever the heck. Uh, but, yeah, so, hopefully the end of the story is that Tale of the Toaster soars to a new horizon with a silver play button and stacks of money <laughs> to sit on at home. But yeah, so thanks everybody for 2,000 subscribers once again and for actually listening and caring to the Q&A. So I'm going to sign off before this camera dies. Ta-ra!